Well, we knew that C2MTL was coming up. We wanted to to do something that's creative, but you know that the canvas is technology. What first started the idea was uh, the input devices. How could we take like classic input device like a joystick or take something that's not as obvious as an input device like the phone or bananas uh, and try to see how we can like use this to interact with something. You know, the idea of using sort of common ordinary things like bananas to control the robot is to really engage our audience. So once we get that dialogue, we hope that people will be interested in saying, okay, so what does it do? And what it does is not just move the robot. What it can do is actually really flexible. Over the three days, people will see how we make improvements and like play with stuff. So I think we're in a good spot and that we're yeah. getting to that point where we get to be more creative, you know? C'est notre deuxième journée à C2 MTL. On nous pose beaucoup de questions sur euh, c'est quoi la technologie en arrière, à quoi ça sert. Euh, donc on se met à parler de robotique, on se met à parler euh, d'éducation, comment est-ce qu'on peut utiliser ça. Donc ce qui peut paraître au départ un petit peu euh, difficile d'approche, lorsqu'on se met à discuter, les gens se mettent à s'ouvrir un peu plus et on arrive à avoir vraiment cette espèce de dialogue-là.